It's football time in Tennessee. Those words have long been associated with running through the tee, the glory of the checkerboard end zone, and the big orange ready to do battle. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Kentucky ready to go toe meets leather and start this game. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Tennessee Volunteers offense will take the first swing of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling the temperature. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. Well, it wasn't great field position to start with, and it's getting worse now. The defense gets a sack. They're getting aggressive up the field. They get to the QB, and they're sending a message. The Vols in the hurry up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It is a maxim of Tennessee football that you must be physical. Physical. It's, it's this kind of people they are, right? Tennessee people are physical. They want to do the dirty work. They're willing to do the dirty work. And you love it when your team has a bunch of grinders, a bunch of physical guys, a bunch of blue-collar guys that want to work. They'll try to get the edge with the toss play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's going to throw deep right side. In the double coverage, and he picked it off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. Well, that essentially ends up being a punt for the offense. Third down, you're taking a deep shot, and because you were able to make the tackle relatively quickly after the guy picked it off, it's essentially just flipping the field. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can break. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. Hard-hitting tackle. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game that field position was going to be massive. They had their backs against the wall in their own opening drive, but a really nice job there on the run, third down, getting some breathing room, moving the sticks. And the Wildcats will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Looking to scramble. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And everybody knows when you're running that play action, that fake has to be great. Everybody has to bite it for it really to work. Defense didn't bite it, didn't bite the bait. Went after the quarterback, got him on the ground. This could have the earmarks of a wasted drive if they don't come up with something on second down from the 13. Gonna run it. It's Trainer. Maybe picked up a couple as he gets it to the 14. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. To the air, it's Vandergrift. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is gonna win every time. Well, it's third down, you're getting it to your back in the passing game to the perimeter. You're just hoping he can make a guy miss and use his athleticism and speed, but a way better job tackling that time defensively, now setting up fourth. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He gets a block. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. The gift to the back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The Volunteers moving quickly to the line. They'll try the run. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. We can talk about the next game on the schedule. But they're always looking forward to this one. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How frustrating is that? You're that running back. Where were you supposed to go? There was absolutely no lane for him on that play. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. He got it. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. The give to the tailback. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down in second and seven. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, the defense was in there in such a hurry. They didn't even let that draw develop. Got to him so quick. 
You know, the draw play has to look like a pass and not look like you're faking a pass. And I think there, uh, it was pretty evident they were trying to run the draw. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner. Got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. This offense really needs to get something going. Punt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offense trying to catch him off guard a little bit, running that draw play, but the defense wasn't fooled. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they're able to get the tackle for loss. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, volunteers! It was a really nice job on the route concept because they got the safety occupied, which opened up the deep middle of the field for the receiver on the post. He uses his speed. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it out in front of him. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. OC, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Give to the single back. They've got it out to the 34 after getting five there. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Give to the running back. 
Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Grab near the marker. It's key. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. This Kentucky offense really moving the ball quickly. Looking for room. It's Trainer. They keep feeding him in this running game, and the defense is having none of it. It's been that way all day. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrip. He's got him in the flat. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Caught over the middle. It's white. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. He knew that he was coming. He had to get rid of it in a hurry, and he did so beautifully. Perfectly. I don't need a big gain. I don't need to hold on to this football because the longer I hold on to it with the blitz coming, the worse things are going to happen. I just need a few yards for the first down. Get it out of my hand. Get the first down. The give to the single back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. I got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. The snap sets up the throw. They're setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Going to throw it over the top of the knee. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Another big play on the outside, and that's the thing that historically has gotten Rocky Top rolling. That's yeah, so much fun to watch playmakers outside that they can run by you and go make big plays. Opens up the whole field, the whole offense, and this Orange fan base goes absolutely bananas. They'll throw it on first down. Wide open downfield. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Tennessee! And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want.
Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're just about ready to kick it away. Looks like he's going to try to return it. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on the board. Man, these plays are really, really simple. Really easy to run. I like it. Just drop back as a quarterback, see the big fella, wait for him to get open, hit him, get a nice positive game. Facing a third down and short from the 26. To the ground to try to pick up the first. The Wildcat get enough to move the chains. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Wildcats getting set on first and ten. Fast motion from the offense. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. At the 45 on his way. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. And that's why you have to have the jet sweep in your repertoire if you're this offense. That receiver has tremendous speed, and he's so dangerous in the open field. You saw it on that play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. He's going to pass. Unloads to the wideout. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Man, oh, man, it doesn't get easier than that. Look at the receiver. He gets wide open. Where's the defense? Nobody around. Easy pitch, easy catch. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Using his legs, it's Sampson. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. And the Volunteers want to crank the tempo. to the outside. On the move at the 30. Oh, look out! At the 30. The 10! And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Vols! Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous if he gets into the second level. Great vision and then David shows you the speed just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, 
long touchdown run. Pad those stats, young fella. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. The kickoff unit about to go to work. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They go to the ground. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. They'll line up for a second down play. To the air, it's Vandergriff. He's right on target. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. There's got to be a sense of urgency for this offense right now. They're trailing. They're going to be kicking off to open the second half. So they need points. They need to go tempo. Maybe that last first down gets them a little bit of confidence. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. Got a wide open receiver. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Defense, what are we doing? You can't miss that guy. How are you going to leave the big fella wide open? You can't act like you didn't see him line up. You know where he is. You knew coming into the game, he's a weapon. That had to be a coverage bust. The Wildcats will have it first and ten. He wants to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well. But this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Throws to the wideout. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds, incomplete. Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. They keep attacking through the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Brown. Touchdown, Wildcats! What a catch and run for six. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Fires to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Matthews. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. A nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. 
Dropping back, it's Iamaleava. Makes the grab. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Now from inside the red zone. Got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Volunteer. When these offenses get in a the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Coming out with it, it's Brown. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. He finds his man. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Grabs it in the middle. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Back to throw, it's Vandergrift. Incomplete, thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. They'll leave it with him. At the 40, there he goes. He's loose. Running inside the 20. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Kentucky! And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And he capped it off with some swag and some speed with a 73-yarder for the score. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. 
Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sidelines. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. This offense has a second down play. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Vols will kick it away to start the second half. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They'll open the second half on the ground. Oh, and what a move. What a juke, and he makes it past the marker. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. They'll give it to him again. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pick up a four on first down at second and six. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man by himself. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Looking to go up top on first down. He just got rid of that one to save the down, didn't see anything he liked. Completion brings up a second down. Looking for a man. It's Vandergrift. Fires to the big fella. Dragged down at the 43, but they've got it in enemy territory. They picked up 10 and give him a first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Grabbed in the middle. It's key. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. This is why quarterbacks always take care of their offensive line. This is why they feed them in the offseason, invite them to the house, buy them gifts, take care of the big boys, because they take care of you, and those numbers start to pile up. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. From the gun, the running back has it. 
Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones, and they completely had him surrounded. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. Splits the uprights right down the middle. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Now they'll run it on the toss. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. He gets it all the way out to the 19-yard line. They pick up of six. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. The Vols headed quickly to the line. Back to throw, it's Iamaleava. It's caught. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Finds a tight end. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw how it just freezed the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. On the ground it's Sampson he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a loss of three no doubt offense wants to keep running the football to win this game but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down he'll do it himself a solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Yeah, and it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot. But nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. 
They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. Right on target the first time. Now he'll try another from 24 yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And now the lead's extended a little far. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Trying to get the edge on the jet sweep. Dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. And you used to see the jet sweep as a play that I'm going to get outside and get big gains. Now it's so tough. Do you want to stack up the middle? Fine. We'll run it outside. Get the first down. Really tough to stop. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. For a wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers. And they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. To the ground with the back. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Fires to the wideout. And that one's incomplete. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Kentucky will be forced to punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Feeling some heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. They'll give it to the back. Makes a man miss. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. 
I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. The Volunteers want to pick up the tempo. On third and long, try to convert through the air. A little screen to the running back. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Brown. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrift. Lost one deep down the right side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. The offense has got to find something here in the fourth quarter. You can tell, pressing a little bit. They need that big play. They want that big play to try to make this game a better ball game. Took the shot. Unsuccessful, but I wouldn't be surprised if they take some more of those. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. find his man it'll be incomplete and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game to the air on first down makes a connection and he'll run into the end zone touchdown Tennessee is there anything this dude can't do he's channeling his inner Congridge Holloway Heath Schuler, or dare I say the great Peyton Manning I bet he can't lead the band, Reese. I bet he's not allowed to do that. He's having himself a day, but he's not there yet. But, man, putting up some stats, doing what he wants. This offense is absolutely cooking. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. Looking to move it through the air. He'll off one deep down the left side. Touchdown, Kentucky! What a grab and go for the score. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable.
Ready to try the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The volunteer offense is back and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. That's one of the only ways you were getting back in this game. You had to force a turnover. You still got to score twice at least to get back in this ball game to try to win it. Great stop. Now it's the offensive's turn. I need to score and score quickly. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. They'll try to get it in with the run. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Turning to the running game here on third and goal. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And how about the response from this defense? Put in a horrible situation, horrible field position. Jesse, they bowed their necks three times in a row. Yeah, and it's a sudden change situation, and they practiced that all week. You never know when they're going to come up, but you have to have guys on the field playing with a sense of urgency. This has been awesome defensively. Field goal is good. Well, they were able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would have liked to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? And the Volunteers are in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Iamaleava. Lofts one high and deep. Got it in stride at the 15. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And this defense has to step forward. Not only do they have to get a stop, they've got to do it quickly to keep that time from running down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. Got his man in the middle. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. 
Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Movement here from the tight end. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. Gets rid of it. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead, but if you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. Never a doubt. And they'll push that lead out a little further. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing it. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And he's coming out of the end zone. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, Dave. Turns it on down the left side. The 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. And here they come, almost all the way back. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Finds his man. It's White. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. This guy is putting up some numbers today, approaching that Joey Kent, Marcus Nash territory. Uh, he's been unbelievable. Uh, there's just no way to stop him. The defense hasn't had answers. It's throw it to him short, he can make plays. It's throw it to him long. you got to do something to slow this guy down right now because he is absolutely killing this defense. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Lining up from the 34 on first down. The handoff keep working on that clock. And when the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards than his block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football, like it makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of guy. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They stop him at the 42, but they're on a roll with a pickup of 15 and a first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Vols come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the move, it's Sampson. 
and he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. On second down, let's see if they go right back to the run and put this game on ice. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. And not a surprise by this offense, right? This is a game management type situation. I want to run the football. I want to run the clock. The clock is my friend with the lead late in the fourth quarter inside of a minute. I'm going to keep this ground game going and make you have to look at that clock continue to tick. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it's difficult to contain athletic quarterbacks, but man, when everybody plays their assignment, it's a beautiful thing. I understand I got to take away this. I got to keep my eyes on the quarterback, make sure he doesn't pull that football. They weren't fooled, and the quarterback had nowhere to go with the football. The Vols will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. And if you list the priorities here, Jesse, first thing, get your kicker into his comfort. Got a lot of running room. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays, and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. From inside the 10, here he comes. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Well, no big surprise here in the fourth quarter. The defense expecting pass, and that's why they've got extra DBs on the field. It's almost like a prevent look. Everybody back there staring at the QB. Going to be hard to throw into that. Obviously, the ball falls incomplete. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. This one's complete. They'll use the timeout. Six seconds left on the clock. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Finds his big tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Comes out throwing on first down. He's going up top here late in the game. And he makes the catch inside the 25. 